I've just finished my trip in Malaysia and I've got a lot of interesting comments on YouTube and also some others wrote to me on Instagram, on Sigua so I want to take this chance to respond to some of the interesting comments and also to share my last final words for Malaysia I stayed in Malaysia for altogether one month and this country turns out to be a big surprise by the end of my long journey. So I'm going to start with my final experience of Malaysia. First of all, I never had any communication problems. Malaysia is a multilingual society. Malay is a national language. English is widely spoken. Other common languages include Mandarin, Tamil, Cantonese. I end up speaking more Chinese than English while traveling there. And before visiting Malaysia, I thought maybe Switzerland is the most multilingual country in the world. But after this trip, I am not so sure now. Maybe it's Malaysia. And also moving around in Malaysia, it's easy. You can use public transport to reach most places. You can book the train tickets, bus tickets online. And what impresses me the most is the bus service. In my opinion, Malaysia has the best bus service among all the countries that I've visited. The buses there are quite new, clean. The seats are often very big, spacious and comfortable, even bigger than the ones that I had in Iran. And finally, the price. It's not that expensive at all, especially when you consider all the comfort from all those big seats. I also found Malaysia to be a very relaxed country. The people are very easygoing, relaxed and they are not in a hurry. So it's easy for me to approach someone and start a conversation. They like to ask where I am from and when I said I'm from China, they would respond like Ooh, China and then always followed by the next sentence Welcome to Malaysia. And I just find Malaysia has so much to offer when it comes to nature. It has some of the world's oldest rainforest, a lot of interesting plants, wildlife, and some of the world's most beautiful sea resort. When it comes to culture, no other country in Asia is truly Asia as Malaysia. It has Asia's three main races, uh, Malay, Indian, Chinese, and many other indigenous groups. All of them have their distinct cultural characters. So here you can see a diverse range of colors, of traditions, of flavors. And yes, the food is just too good to be true. There are just so much good food and I tried only a small portion of them, such as the nasi lemak, nasi goreng, keitio, Roti kanai, and if you're going to burn your, there are some special dishes such as the meeting, lasa, ayam pansu, and remember to try some exotic fruits such as durian, mangosteen, tarab, rambutan, asamambam, rambai, tarian asam. So, without any difficulty, you can try something new for over one month. The first comment I'm going to read is from Leo Steinwart. This sounds like a German name, and he wrote, there is a difference between the term Malay and Malaysian. Malay refers to a race, while Malaysian refers to the nationality. And this was because I made a mistake. In my past video, I said Malay Chinese instead of Malaysian Chinese. And many other viewers also pointed out the same mistake. So for that, I want to say thank you so much for taking your time and giving me the right information. My trip in Malaysia has been a learning process, so I really appreciate if you point any mistakes that I made in my video. And the second comment is from Karen Chon about me going to the Indian barber shop. And she wrote, actually, women in Malaysia really goes to those places only guys do. And to be honest, I wasn't really aware that it's a male-only place. I was in Ipoh and I want a haircut. I met this friendly barber and I thought he can do this for me. So that's it. The following comments are from my video about jungle hiking Cameron Highland. I was told never go hiking alone. Don't wear sandals to go hiking. They are poisonous plants and many dangerous animals such as tigers and snakes. So thanks so much for caring about me. It's actually a clearly marked 
track and it's moderate it's not so difficult and i have two mobile phones with me in case anything happens i can always call for help but i do agree that it's always nicer and safer to go with someone however as to the sandals i disagree because it's my most comfortable shoe to go hiking it's much better than my hiking shoes but next time when i'm in Malaysia, perhaps I'm going to try this professional shoe, the Kampong Adidas. And Firefox is asking me how is the Chinese food in Malaysia compared with that in China. I'd say it's very Chinese because the basic has been the same. There is a lot of rice, noodles, pork dishes, those lu wei and also those roasted duck. But it's more in a Cantonese Fujian or Hainan style and I've never been to those provinces so it's really hard for me to tell the subtle difference and on the other hand in China there is a very diverse range of cuisines and the Chinese food in Malaysia is more from the southern part of China so if you go to the northern part of China if you go to the central area if you go to the western part you are likely to find very very different cuisines some other friends are asking me on Instagram where I am right now and what I'm going to do when I'm back in China. So this video that you're watching right now is made three or two weeks ago. So right now I'm already in the quarantine hotel in Hangzhou and I'm waiting to be released to go back to my hometown. I'm really excited. The first thing is of course to spend some time with my family my parents, grandparents, uncle and aunts, niece and nephews. I haven't seen them for three years, so I really miss them. And after that, I want to start a new project documenting Chinese places and Chinese culture. It's going to be a two year project and I have a plan for that. I'm going to talk about it in the coming week. I've also got a lot of traveling advices telling me that I have to go to Malacca, go to Kenting, go to this place, try this food, try that food. So I stayed in Malaysia for only one month, which is far from enough to discover the whole country. I haven't been to any of the islands, I've never been to Sabah, I've never tried scuba diving, I haven't seen the Rafflesia. And as to the food, there is just so much good food that it's almost impossible to try them all. So I really hope that next year I have the chance to go back to Malaysia and spend more time there. And of course the most comment I got is simply Welcome to my city, welcome to my country, welcome to Malaysia, Dama and Sulamat Datong to Malaysia. So I can really feel that people in Malaysia they are so welcoming towards tourists. And thanks so much. I really enjoy reading your comments and I hope that I can have the chance to revisit Malaysia very soon.